Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. Your friend on the force says we should start looking in the Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy. Go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know, we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could... still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunting. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. Punks showing disrespect. Where's the respect in this city gone, Frank? I got guys calling after Sarah in the street. I got payments drying up from the Corleone. I got Morello taking bites out of our DNA rack. Right? If I were a younger man, this uh... <laughs> We'll teach him respect. Don't worry. Hey, hey, here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Paulie and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't wanna pull this and piss in our own street. There's something to bust heads. That's all we need. Sam turned over some guy's warehouse and, uh... Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, it's horse shit, but... They bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. No, they won't. Thanks, Vinny. report on the rising crime figures and the reaction from the governor's mansion. The numbers state in black and white that crime is on the rise all over the state. Many commentators are blaming the rise in criminality, thievery, racketeering, and other gangsterism on the economic downturn and resulting social deprivation. In the greater Lost Heaven area last year, there was a sharp increase in the number of gang-related incidents 
and the chief of police was moved to create a gang task force known informally as the Rat Catchers. But Governor Wells, who has suffered criticism for his handling of the increase in violent crime, thinks otherwise. He said, there can be no dispute that times are hard for many. Jobs are fewer and farther between. But that simply is no reason to bite one's thumb at the rule of law. In fact, I feel that adversity has the potential of forging a hardier individual and a more harmonious family unit. Governor Wells came in for some criticism from certain sections, while others were quick to praise him for his commitment to straight talking. How either interpretation plays with the electorate remains to be seen. One thing is certain, however, and that is the current levels of crime are out of control. Join me for another news bulletin later. Now, I believe, we have some more musical numbers. About time. Come on, I'm wet through. Why Biff moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Ah, he got yellow fever that time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the dames. You fat bastard. What are you doing? Put mouth, low team. They tongue all day team. Don't they send some for your team by such a light? Dollface, great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. Move on the fight time. So, what's the beef? Need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel, named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right, I know them. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Polly. Uh, about that dough? Relax, just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. I asked him one. It's Mexican. You getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. <laughs> Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. Don know about this? Yeah, yeah, I'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. No, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. You do the same. No shooters. You take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. Tell me the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yo, yo. Oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. 
down! Oh, come on, come on. Get us out of here! Shit, we gotta get to a car, Tom! Ram! Come on, we can't lose them! Careful, Tom. The road's a river. We Don't worry, them out. I got this. You ever seen guys piss their pants this quick? If you look through the rain, you can see it dripping out the back of their car. Regret they ever set eyes on Sarah, huh? Son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. I want to pop him, Tom. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to. Fucking die, man. <laughs> Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. This amount. This one's finished too. Hmm. Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah. Just, uh... Hey. Let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Simple straight. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the court in this office sent this over. Corpse's name 
is Joe Alti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now he got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morello's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Pauly. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look, we're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. Are you sending Tommy to dip his wick? Is it brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. The Don has invested a lot of money in it over the years. So me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us? He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can't send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Wherever you find them. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get me. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. them to leave a mess like this. I don't get it. You think we made a mistake bringing... Go see Vinny. I'll meet you here. in the market for something that goes boom. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. We have to talk. Get in. Don't go any place yet. Gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I've been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise. Yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, Sam. I'll see what I can do. It's all I'm asking. Let's go. I've been condemned from some quarters as heavy-handed. 
Others have pointed to radical elements within the bonus Michelle. army as the reason. She's the one from the racetrack, right? Tom, that was the last time we're ever going to talk about her. Ever. Been no I told you what I had to ask. You knew it's me. Gotta leave it there. Okay. Here's your stuff. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. You behave yourself in here, okay? Hey, handsome. You here for a girl? 
drinks or a mix of the two? A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl I can help you with. Come through. Find the girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush, so get a drink, relax, and enjoy yourself. Hey, good afternoon, sir. We can just talk if you don't want... What's a handsome man like you doing in a place like this? Looking for a girl named Michelle. She's busy upstairs, but I'm free. Good time. Come this way, Sully. Nah, I'm looking for a friend. Michelle. Sure you are. Come to my room and tell me all about her. I just want to talk. You know, I get to hear that a lot. I bet you're not like all the other guys either, are you? Nah, not really. Where's Michelle? Upstairs in 208. That all you want? That's all I want. I <sighs> wish they were all like you, sweetheart. You, Michelle? What's it to you? A fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. But Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping cows with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I will never open my mouth again. I know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You scared then. 
Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're going to find you with two in the head. Do you understand? Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is going to blow soon. Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family will be long and... Who, who is this guy? He with you, fellas? Sir, you're gonna have to leave. Uh, this guy's turning into a problem. Hey, your new protection duties are starting early. Kill him!
together! <laughs>